Hey guys, Captain Justin Mills here with BackwaterFlyFishing.com and we're bringing you, believe it or not, part 5 of our HD Bonefish Fly Tying Series. This next fly is another really popular fly in the bonefishing community. It's called the Bonefish Bitter and this is my variation of that fly. We're going to be tying this on a number 8 hook. So this is kind of as small of a fly as you're ever going to see me tie. The first step is going to be to get the hook in the vise and run your thread all the way down to right about the hook point or if not a little past. After that, reach for your EP fibers, pull out a few fibers, fold them over on itself and then shorten it down just a bit and go ahead and attach this on what would be the inside of the hook shank. After that, we're going to grab some pearl crystal flash, take just one strand out, double it over on itself, and then go ahead and tie that in right on top of those EP fibers. Next, bring your thread forward, and we're going to go ahead and attach some small silver bead chain eyes. Once those are secure, move your thread back to about the halfway point between the eyes and your EP fibers. Then we're going to grab our micro legs and we're going to go ahead and take two of these legs out and then double that over on itself as well and tie this in right in the middle between the eyes and the EP fiber. We want to make sure to post each side out so that the legs are sticking out sort of every which way from each side of the fly. Once those are secure, move your thread up in front of your bead chain eyes and we're going to go ahead and put in a weed guard. After that, you can whip finish the fly and then we're going to get our glitter out and our UV gel, mix those together and then go ahead and apply that UV gel with the glitter in it to the top and bottom of the fly. We want to stop in between and go ahead and zap it and make sure everything's getting hard as we go. Well there you have it guys, part 5 of our HD Bonefish Fly Tying Series is all wrapped up. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at backwaterflyfishing at yahoo.com. If you have any fly suggestions that you'd like to see me cover, feel free to shoot those to me as well. If you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to share this on Facebook as well, Instagram, whatever you guys got going on. We appreciate all the support. I'm sure I could still